Today we're going to be reading the story of the gingerbread man. Now maybe you've got a copy of the gingerbread man at home. It might not look like this. There are lots and lots of different fairy tales versions of the gingerbread man. And this is a book Mrs Goss has. This is the gingerbread man. That's the little old woman and the little old man. And it's written by a lady called Ma Mara Alperin and Miriam Latimer. Shall we read the blurb? Oh, I can see the cheeky flop fox and he's saying, not today. And the gingerbread man says, time to play. And the cat's speech bubble says, he's getting away. The blurb says, this cheeky little gingerbread man is having so much fun, he scurries away from all the hungry animals, but then he meets a crafty fox. Will the gingerbread man meet a sticky end? <gasps> Let's have a look. I'm sure you know the story of the gingerbread man. Let's have a look. The gingerbread man. Oh, look, I think they've got a bakery. Lots of little treats. Mr and Mrs Baker lived all alone. Day after day, they baked big gooey cakes, sweet crumbly pies and piping hot pastries. But they had no one to share them with and that made them very sad. Then one day, Mrs Baker made a little gingerbread man to cheer them both up. He had jolly little buttons, jolly jelly buttons and a big icing smile. Dusting the flour from her hands, she popped him into the oven. But to Mr and Mrs Baker's surprise, when the tray came out, the gingerbread man leaped onto the table and began skipping through the sugar. Tee hee hee, he said, you can't catch me, he giggled. Bless my cinnamon stars, cried Mrs Baker, as they chased him over pots, under pans and all around the kitchen. But the gingerbread man was too quick for them and he jumped right out of the window. <gasps> Scurrying along the path, the gingerbread man ran very fast and ran into a very hungry cow. <gasps> you look tasty, mooed the cow. And what fine jelly buttons you have. But the gingerbread man raced and danced and pranced, singing, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And off he ran, as fast as his gingerbread legs could carry him. With a great moo, the cow thundered after the gingerbread man, past the milk churns, through the barn, and round and round the haystack. Crash! The haystack tumbled right on top of the cow. Oh, milkshakes, cried a very dizzy cow. No one's catching that gingerbread man today, are they? Well, the gingerbread man scampered up the hill, and at the very top of the hill was a very hungry goat. Good day, bleated the goat. I love munching thistles, but you look evil. Can you see the gingerbread man being chased by the cow? Mrs. Baker and Mr. Baker. But the gingerbread man just twirled and whirled, singing, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he whizzed, leaving a trail of gingerbread crumbs behind him. So the goat dashed after the gingerbread man through the thistles, over the gate, and in and out of the apple orchard. Smash! The goat butted into a tree. The apples came t t tumbling down with a thud, thud, thud. Oh, nettles, cried the goat, rubbing his head. Tee hee hee, laughed the gingerbread man as he frolicked through the meadow. There, dozing in a tree, was a very hungry cat. Hello, meowed the cat. Meow, you look like a perfect snack. 
But the gingerbread man just wiggled and giggled singing. Do you know what he was singing? Can you join in? Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And off he whooshed, racing off down the lane. Licking her lips, the cat chased the gingerbread man around the bush, through the daisies towards the pond, and the cat pounced up, up, up. Oh, and then came down, 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 splash, right in the middle of a cold, wet pond. Oh, whiskers, grumbled the very soggy cat. Nobody's getting the gingerbread man today, are they? And the gingerbread man ran down the hill. Look, can you see who's chasing him? Let's have a look. Mrs. Baker, Mr. Baker, who's next? The cow, who's next? You're right, the goat. And next? Yes, the cat. Tee hee hee, I'm having fun. I'm running away from everyone. A curly haired woman, a man in a hat, a cow and a goat and a silly old cat. But when the gingerbread man reached the riverbank, he stopped and shivered. Brr, too cold. How do I cross? Just then, a fox appeared. Hello, gingerbread man, grinned the fox. Perhaps I can help you. Just climb on my tail and I'll carry you across. Do you think the gingerbread man should climb on his tail? Mm, I don't either. Brrr, too chilly, the gingerbread man squealed as the fox paddled into the river. Why don't you climb onto my back? asked the fox. Brrr, too wet, squeaked the gingerbread man as the water swirled at his feet. Well, why don't you climb onto my head? smirked the fox. And the gingerbread man scrambled up. But the water rose higher still. So the gingerbread man climbed to the top of the fox's nose. Tee hee hee, they'll never catch me, he cried. Just as the fox tossed the gingerbread man up, up, up in the air, opened his wide mouth and snapped. And that was the end of the gingerbread man. Oh dear, cried Mr and Mrs Baker. What a naughty gingerbread man he was. I'm still hungry, mooed the cow. Me too, said the goat. Meow, so am I, said the cat. Then Mr Baker said, let's all go and bake something else together. So they all trotted back to the bakery to mix and stir cakes and pastries and pies, but no more gingerbread men. It was a fantastic feast and with their three new friends, Mr and Mrs Baker were never lonely again. And that is the story of the gingerbread man. I hope you enjoyed it as much as me. Thank you for listening and bye for now.